<sighs> Alrighty. Let's do this. What's going on? Blessed Small Champ here. New YouTube video. This is going to be a, a little recap of I believe it's week 12. I believe of um, the NFL season. So, once again, Carolina Panthers lose another heartbreaking close game against the Oakland Raiders in Oakland by a score of 35 to 32. The Raiders were up by as much as 24 to 7 at halftime. Carolina gets an attempted comeback, scoring 18 in the third quarter, 18 unanswered points. And then defense dropped the ball, and Oakland was able to win by a field goal. Carolina was attempting to put together a final drive, but to no avail. <sighs> Season's over. Plain and simple as that, their season's over. There's, there's, there's no chance. Carolina season's over. They now have seven players on concussion protocol. The newest addition to that was Kirk Coleman. So honestly. I think the it's a, it's a lost cause now. I think really going forward, the best that they can do is screw up another team's playoff chances and just try to try to win out. And maybe it's best that if you know you don't they don't take any chance on bringing any of those injured players back, just let them rest the rest of the season, let them get healthy so that they'd be ready to go come next season. I, I feel like, really, that's the best thing that should be done. You know, cause, because they're not making the playoffs. Let's be real. They're not making the playoffs. Just way too many games. Too many close games lost by a field goal or less. And that's, that's just, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. Cam Newton had two touchdowns and a pick. A pick six. And got sacked twice. Derek Carr, two touchdowns, a pick, got sacked once. Jonathan Stewart had a great game. 96 yards rushing out of 17 carries, two touchdowns, with one of the runs being a 47-yard run. Ted Ginn had a great game, four receptions, 115 yards, and a touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin, although he did have uh, one receiving touchdown, I just felt like he didn't get targeted. He only got targeted six times. Oh, and by the way, one of the um, catches for again was the touchdown that was the 88, or 88 yards. Um, really, my big disappointment was Greg Olson for the first time ever. He dropped a lot. I mean, he really dropped a lot of key, key catches, one being on the final drive to try to get them back in the field goal range. So this this was rough on him. 
because, you know, Greg Olson is expected to do really well. I mean, he's one of the best tight ends in the league currently. But just... Overall, defense just suffered quite a bit. Um, and like I said, it was good to see them cause turnovers. They did cause cause turnovers, so I'm happy about that. But, you know, just not able to close out and finish the game. But the Raiders, they're a tough team. They're a tough team. And to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if either them or the Patriots made it to the Super Bowl. So, you know, Raiders are 9-2. and two. So, I mean, not to mention, you know, they're undefeated on the road. They're undefeated on the road. And I know this game was, you know, in Raider Nation territory, but the Raiders are undefeated on the road. That says a lot. So, <sighs> but yep, Carolina falls to four and seven for the year. And like I said, their playoff hopes are pretty are pretty dashed away. To be honest with you, I mean, just I really don't feel like there's any chance for them to come back. Especially looking at their remaining schedule. Seahawks, Chargers, Redskins, Falcons, Buccaneers. I mean, already looking at those teams, it's going to be difficult. You know, Falcons again, Buccaneers again, both of those teams beat us earlier this season. You know, Seahawks, you know they're going to want to destroy us after losing to the Panthers the past, what, two visits? So, I mean, yeah, I'll be at the Chargers game. So that, that game's going to be cold. But, yeah, like, they got a tough schedule. You know, looking at the rest of our division, you know, the eight, the NFC South, here, let's look at, let's look at the Falcons' schedule. Chiefs, Rams, 49ers, Panthers, Saints. I mean, other than other than the Chiefs and maybe the Saints. I mean Atlanta's got a simple schedule. They got a simple schedule. You know, just on the real, they have they have a simple schedule. You know. Looking at this, look, let's look at the Saints. Lions, Buccaneers, Cardinals, Buccaneers, Falcons. I mean, they're definitely capable of winning every one of those games, you know? And then you look at the Buccaneers. I mean, Buccaneers have Chargers, Saints, Cowboys, Saints, Panthers. I mean, theirs may be slightly a little bit tougher, but... You know, right now, they, they've won three straight. They've won three straight. So, just, you know, I just feel like Carolina has the hardest, you know, out of those schedules. So, I mean, yeah. But that's all I can really say. Carolina um, plays Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night. Uh, in Seattle against the Seahawks, which honestly, Seahawks are undefeated at home so far this year. So, yeah, it's not impossible, but it's going to be tough. But anyway, that's all for now. Splitsball Champ signing off. Catch up with y'all later.